All right, my fellow YouTubers, I have my new Smith & Wesson Model 629, four inch. And what I did is I ordered Meprolite night sights. When I ordered them and I took the screw out and put the new one in and tried to put the new one in, it was staked in and when I held it in one side and screwed from the other, I basically ripped the screw head off. And so that's the screw head, that's not the screw head, that's the screw that I broke the head off of. All right, so I did what I always do. I said, okay, no problem. I'll go and order a new screw and a new windage nut, new for the rear sight. So I went on to Midway. Midway doesn't have any, no ETA. Doesn't have the kit, doesn't have the windage screw, has the nut, but no windage screw. So obviously people break the heads off these windage screws all the darn time. Midway doesn't have any. So I went to Sinclair's, I went to Brownell's, same story. I searched the web. Can't find a stupid windage screw for a uh, Smith & Wesson uh, uh, KL or N model anywhere except for some overpriced ones on eBay. I guess somebody bought a whole bunch in the past and decided, okay, I can charge $12 to $15 a pop for a screw because nobody else has it. So called Smith & Wesson, they have the screw and the windage nut for me. And the windage nut, by the way, is a pin staked on. So that's why they're broken so often. You're supposed to use a special tool to put them on and take them off. Uh, they also have a plunger and spring that go inside the screw head so that when you twist them, it makes a clicking noise so you know how you're adjusting and you're making clicks. So I'm about two weeks out before I get my replacement uh, screws in. And by the way, this set right here is a, a set from Jack Wayland. Do not buy the Jack Wayland set unless you're putting it on a Jack Wayland rear sight. The Jack Wayland threads on his screw are finer than the screws on a standard Smith & Wesson uh, sight. So you can buy the kit from Jack Wayland and spend 20 bucks like I did, but the screw threads are finer and it won't go on the Meprolite or the original sight because it's finer screw thread. Okay, so what did I do? While I'm waiting my two weeks, I decided I'll go down and see if they have any comparable screws just to hold it roughly where it needs to be in place down at my local Ace True Value hardware store. Now these screws that I found, you're not gonna find at Lowe's or Home Depot. They're way too small. Lowe's and Home Depot don't carry high-end numbers of fine, small threaded screws. And uh, so what you're looking for is you're looking for a 2.5 millimeter metric screw. And you're gonna want it in a length of 15 millimeters to 20 millimeters in length is roughly the size you're gonna be looking for. Now, with these screws I got, I was able to get the shorter one to work, but I had the longer one as backup. At 39 cents a pop, I figured it was better to buy two screws and have a longer spare one in case I needed it versus going home, getting mad, having to drive all the way back over 39 cents a screw, it's not worth the gas to even start my car. Okay, so normally the screw head goes in this side, but it turns out that the nut on these screws, this little nut here, fits right in that recess and locks into place because there's grooves already in the recess. So what I did is I threaded it the opposite way. I put the nut in the side that the head goes in and then I put the head on the outside. So when you screw it in and put your side on, you have to put the side on and then put the screw through the side instead of sliding it on as one piece. But that's not a problem. You just put the side in, put the screw through it, shove the nut in and lock it down. Then you look at it and you say, is that centered? And you use this, you can see the black piece right here. You compare the sight to the black markings, which with this sight, they come out and flare out right to the edge of it on both sides, as you can see. So I was able to see when I first put it on, okay, no, it's not centered. So I loosened the screw where it was out of the nut, pushed uh, on the sight and adjusted it, then repeated. Okay, now it's too far to the right. Loosen it up, moved it a little bit more, did it again. Took me six tries, but after six tries, which took me two, three minutes, after about six tries, I got this thing pretty much dead center. Now again, in two weeks, I'm gonna put the real winded screw on it uh, and set up and get it fixed properly. But for the time being, this thing is dead centered. And uh, whether that's the true accuracy out to 50 yards, it, it probably isn't. But for my purposes for the next two weeks, if I get jumped by a wild hog out of my deer lease, uh, I can pop a hole in the pig point blank in the dark with no problem because I got night sights on this 44 now. So again, 
Uh, if you've broken your winded screw, like so many people have, everyone I look at on the internet and call around and everything, this breaking the winded screw is a very common phenomenon. You can go down to your local hardware store that has specialty screws. Again, Ace True Value Hardware has specialty screws. And you're going to want to get a 2.5 millimeter diameter screw in metric uh, because the, the US models don't work. This is a metric screw. So 2.5 millimeter metric screw and you're going to want it to uh, basically be 15 to 20 millimeters in length and get the corresponding nut that goes with it in the little box that it comes in in their you know, little bin. So again, I hope this helped you guys. Uh, if you're out there, you can't find that stupid part, your 44 is down and you want it, you know, you need to take it out and have it for piggy defense, then this is a stopgap measure. I mean, you, technically this could remain in it permanently and you can just jack with it till you get it dead on at the range and then you don't have to bother ever adjusting it again. But uh, I like things to look proper and be proper, so I've already spent the 20 bucks to order another set of screws for this sucker but right here this screw was you know 39 cents and 39 for the nut so for 78 cents i'm pretty much good to go for the time being with it so hope this is helpful for all you guys out there in youtube land and uh have a good one me, me.